the Katie on the flip side. It is the first Katie on the flip side from the new house. This is our new bedroom, um, just the bed part of it. But I'm going to be talking in today's video about how we prepared gains for the big move. Obviously, Brooks is a little bit younger. He didn't really notice. But with Gaines being two and a half, she definitely knew something was up. Felt like it was really important, especially once we decided on the house that we wanted to buy, to take her there and let her look around and kind of let her feel like she's a part of the process. Once we started getting our house ready to put on the market, we started packing up some boxes to move to storage to get it in the best presentable condition. And when she saw boxes everywhere, she got really concerned about what was going on. So I felt like that was a great time to kind of explain a few things to her. I ordered a few books on Amazon and had them to read to her to kind of explain the whole moving process. She really enjoyed reading the book. I don't know that she necessarily understood exactly what was happening, but she could see kind of the stages. And then as we'd get to the next stage in our real life, she would be like, oh, that's what we read in the book. And she would kind of see the different places that we were at. One thing I tried not to do as we were packing up things just to take to storage was to touch too much stuff in her room. I wanted to leave her room and her play area as close to normal as possible as I could. Once it was time and it was getting close to time to move, um, we thought it was important to talk to her a little bit more about the process and show her pictures of the new house and have a couple things she remembered like oh do you remember the backyard from the new house we'll be able to put your water table out there we'll be able to you'll be able to ride your bike out there kind of talking about what she could do with her particular things in the new house letting her kind of pick which room would you want to have your things in and explaining to her that we're not just leaving this house that we're in with all of our stuff in it we're taking your things with us and I think that kind of helped her because as we go along, she would ask questions. Are we going to take that with us? Are we going to take this with us? And then we kind of talk about where we would put it in the new house. As we were visiting the house that we finally decided on that we wanted to buy, we did find a nearby park that we could go to so that she was able to see, oh, there's some fun things to do near here. Um, you know, if there's a house you're looking for where there's a fun ice cream shop or, you know, something fun for kids that would kind of let them know, okay, we're moving somewhere where there are fun things to do. It's not going to be completely boring. As far as the actual moving day, um, I did wait until the very last minute, the actual day of moving, to pack up her sheets, her lovies, little nightlight, all the different things that she sees and knows as part of her bedtime routine. And I left out a few of her favorite toys so that she could have them on the moving day. All those things were packed very last on the moving truck so they could be one of the first things that got off the moving truck so we could get everything set up for her to get ready for bed the first night and so she would feel comfortable there and not just like she had no idea what was going on. A major help was having family to actually take her somewhere else other than our house on moving day because I figured it might be a little bit difficult to see all of your stuff being ripped out of your room, ripped out of your house and taken to a new place. Thankfully, we were able to have my parents do that. I know a lot of people aren't able to have help. If there's anybody you can get, a friend or somebody, just to take your kids for a few hours because moving day is stressful for everybody. It's stressful enough for us adults, but for kids, they really don't understand what's going on. And so it's helpful for them to kind of be away from that situation as much as possible. We had a separate bag with all of her sheets, all of our sheets, Brooks' sheets, monitors, diapers, kind of like an overnight bag for, I packed it for about three days worth of clothing and all that. And I thought at the time, this is kind of silly because as soon as we get there, I know where her clothes are and I can unpack them. But that was just not even the case. I didn't know where they were, but it was the thought of even processing the fact of what outfit she's gonna wear today that was just too much for me to think about on top of everything else. So I loved the fact that I already had an overnight bag packed that had everything she needed, like survival, for the first three days that we were in the new house. Along with that, we made sure we had not only her bedroom, but a play space for her set up so that she would have somewhere where she would feel comfortable. So we do have a dedicated playroom in our new house that's right by the kitchen kitchen and we went ahead and made sure that that was comfy and cozy. Um, it obviously wasn't perfect the first day, but we tried to roll out a rug and get um, you know, her toy table and different things out um, so that she could feel comfortable playing in there when there was chaos everywhere else. Or if one of our parents wanted to take her into the new room and let her play a little bit in there while we were unpacking. With it being a new house and her not being super comfortable with being in a room alone by herself, it's been super helpful to have a security monitoring device in that room so that we can see her and she knows that we can watch her and hear her if she needs anything. 
LG was actually awesome enough to send us their new smart security system that is more than just a monitor to watch on, but it's also a full home automation device. Not just for monitoring the kids, but it is near an entrance of our house, so we can also monitor the safety of our house. It has 24 seven professional monitoring done by ADT Canopy, which requires no contract or anything. We can make sure that we are always feeling a little bit more secure. It was pretty much the easiest thing to, to set up ever. Even if you don't subscribe to the monthly ADT Canopy service, you can still do all kinds of things with the device, um, 24 seven live streaming video that's on a secured connection. You get custom self alerts and custom event schedules that would um, control connected devices. If you did choose to subscribe to the ADT Canopy service, you could get intrusion detection and video storage so you can scroll back through your videos and see what all happened. Right now though, if you purchase the LG Smart Security System, ADT is offering a free 60 day trial of the Canopy service. It's really great and has great quality video. Um, it covers a whole wide range of the room and it's been nice to be able to tell Gaines, um, okay, I'm going in the next room to fold laundry. I'm right around the corner, but I'm gonna be able to watch you and I can have my phone and pull up the app and be able to watch her and know if she's okay. Um, she's also taken a couple of naps in there since we've moved in. So it's been nice to have like a monitor on her so we'll know if she wakes up if we're in the other room or upstairs or something. We can even use it to check in on the pets when we're not home. They love laying on the couch in the playroom so we can pull it up and see, oh, there they are. They're waiting for us to come home and they're not getting in any trouble, hopefully. I really appreciate LG sponsoring this video. Super awesome, moving into a new house and having a new product to try out. If you guys are interested in checking out the LG Smart Security device, you can check the link in the description below for more info. So while it was moving day and Gaines, we were getting things set up so that Gaines and Brooks would feel more comfortable. The thing I felt like was important is once she left the old house with all of her old stuff in it, not to go back. I didn't feel like it would be a good thing for her to see it empty. I felt like that would be kind of confusing for her. So once she got to the new house, I felt like it was important for her to stay here. And this is where we live now. This is the new house. And we explained to her somebody else would be living in the old house. And, you know, we had lots of fun memories there. But we were going to make lots of new memories in the new house. One thing that we really didn't do a super fabulous job of, um, I wish I had been a little more aware of this, was making sure to have some of both of the kids' favorite foods available. We did have some snacks and things like that, but at the time of them moving with so many things changing, um, it would have been nice if I had made sure and had you know, some of the like frozen peanut butter and jelly, something that's easy to pull out. You don't have to make a mess. You don't have to know where the bread and the knives and all that are. Just like something I knew they would eat. I did make sure and have some fruit, the fruit and vegetable pouches for Brooks and like little mum mums and puffs and things like that. Even just making sure to have like cheese sticks and um, goldfish or, you know, just different things that would be kind of comfort foods for them. Milk for the next morning, all that. But before we moved, the last thing on my mind was grocery shopping. I didn't want to have to move anything else with me. So on my list would be trying to keep routines the same as much as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, it is impossible to keep your whole daily routine the same when you're moving. Moving is crazy, and you might think you're gonna lose your mind, especially with small children, but if you can keep their main routines the same, um, for example, bedtime with games, I make sure to do it just exactly like we did at the old house. Brush your teeth, go to the potty, read some books, sing some songs, snuggle for a few minutes, and then lights out. Also waking up in the morning, kind of the same routine of doing breakfast. Any routines like that that they're used to that you can keep familiar is really gonna help them adjust more quickly. And I think the last thing would be to be prepared for there to be a little bit of an issue with adjustment. For some kids, um, give them a little grace, give yourself a little grace. Don't expect everything to go perfectly. Things will go wrong. Moving trucks will get stuck. Probably not good. Movers will break their foot and not be able to make it. It might be later than you expect getting the kids to bed, but try your best to just understand that there will be some challenges and sometimes you do just need to take a break. Both the adults and the kids, sometimes it's good to just 
get away, get out, take the kids to the park, take them to get ice cream, try as much as possible to get rest and make sure that they get rest. Even if you set aside an hour or so and say, I'm not touching any moving boxes, I'm not doing anything related to the house, I'm just gonna spend one-on-one -on -one time with them. Moving day was really crazy and then the next morning was our first morning, just us quiet in the house because it had been full of people the day before um, and I just sat with Gabe on the couch and snuggled with her for a little bit, talked about things and um, just spent some time with her. Obviously with Brooks, he's so little. I haven't mentioned him a whole lot in this video, but he really didn't have the difficulty adjusting the change to him. It was just a different place to sleep and new toys. <laughs> or not new toys, but new new toys in a new setting. So um, it was basically fine for him. It's more the older kids you have to worry about. If you have any suggestions for me or for any other people watching this video, leave them in the comments below of anything that you did differently or any other suggestions you would have that would help kids adjust with moving into a new house. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys on the side. Bye.